Good afternoon from the CBS 19 newsroom. I'm Jillian Sheridan. And I'm Justin Early. A murder suspect in the Smith County Jail may soon be sent back to Gregg County. Police say Isaiah Christopher Roberts shot his ex-wife and her best friend in Longview Sunday morning. He was chased by law enforcement from the crime scene into Tyler, where he was arrested for evading arrest and causing wrecks that damaged five cars, leaving one person injured. 38-year-old Candy Martin and 36-year-old Kim Rayson were killed in Sunday's shooting. And another shooting, this one behind a Mineola convenience store, leaves one person dead, another in custody. It happened last night behind the Easy Mart in the 100 block of North Pacific. Police say Jason Russell Walters shot James Griffin after an argument. The latest on the investigation tonight. It is summertime and children are out of school, so what are the options for parents to keep their children's reading, writing, and math skills sharp? We're showing you some programs to do just that in Titan East Texas tonight. A sixth grader helps collect 2,000 books for the Literacy Council of Tyler. Abigail Price has recently come to love reading and wanted children all across the East Texas region to share the same passion. She has donated the books that she collected to the Literacy Council Bookshelf Project, which, pro which provides free books to low-income families, where you can find the books around the city tonight. And a Texan celebrating the big NBA championship win by the San Antonio Spurs. The Spurs beat the Heat to clinch the championship last night. How retailers are benefiting from the win coming up tonight. All that and weather and sports tonight on CBS 19 News at 5 and 6.